Hey, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, we're here for a quick pop-up reading about a specific person. Somebody out there has a message for you and I'm here to deliver it. So I'm going to start off by pulling their archetype or archetypes in this dynamic right now, followed by some tarot, some oracle cards, and um, some channeled message cards, tiles, charms, the whole nine yards. Okay, so first up we have Alethia. That came up in one of my more recent pop-up cards, actually. Ooh, okay. Okay, we also have the gem and Gnosis coming out. So there's a lot of colorful imagery. This is an interesting layout here, you guys. Let's get some information out of the guidebook for you. We have two power cards coming out right away with the gem in the center, which I find interesting. We're going to go ahead and start with Gnosis, innermost knowing mystic truth. That's funny because this is all about truth. So I think that this person has recently had some huge revelations regarding you and your connection at this time. Okay. We have true knowledge is not found in facts and figures in scholarly books on library shelves. Rather, Gnosis points to the deep and timeless archetypal wisdom that rises from the felt experience of having touched the unknown with every one of the senses. Those who are drawn to Gnosis find themselves in esoteric studies, likely involving mysticism, alchemy, healing, or perhaps science. Knowing is their calling. Not knowing is their job description. No matter how far the alchemists take their studies, they come to the ultimate conclusion that facts slip towards mystery, and soon the mystery results in facts. This card signifies a knowing that is life-changing. Once you experience it, you are forever changed and become a guardian of Gnosis. The eternal mystery is calling you. Study your passion in the deepest way available to you. This person could have been looking into things like soul connections, and I just, I really feel like this person is in the middle of awakening right now, and they attribute a lot of this to you. This has been coming out a lot in my readings lately, so if you feel called to this reading, or if it really resonates with you, maybe hop over to my pop-up reading playlist or my pick a card playlist because I feel like some of those other readings may resonate as well, particularly a lot of my more recent ones, okay? Um, they're actually calling me to pause real quickly and show you this stone. <laughs> this stone, this is, uh, I've never seen such a thing before, but this is actually black or blue, um, oh, I can't think of, tiger's eye, there we go, black or blue tiger's eye, okay? I saw it at a crystal shop today. It's interesting. I don't know. Maybe somebody out there needs to add that to their collection. Anyway, to get back to the reading, we have Alethia, truth. Our soul recognizes the truth. Again, back to the truth. When someone speaks it, a cool wave of relief washes over the room and all facts and figures in the world fall by the wayside. Such is the power of Alethia. It has an undeniable resonance that goes beyond the rational. We can also recognize Adlethia by its contagiousness. When we hear someone speak the truth, we see the truth within ourselves and are more likely to tell our own story. The Alethia card requires us to step toward an act of truth. This might look like a conversation, a gesture, a poetic act, or a ritual that honors the unveiling of what's been concealed. Reclaiming your own truth is a way to reclaim your vital energy, health, and sense of belonging in the world. Truth has its own wings. Set it free. So this person clearly not only has been having truths revealed about you and the connection and a lot of the ways of the universe in general, but I think that they also have a powerful truth to convey to you. Okay, so I would expect communication from this person. I'll get some more info when we pull the tarot, but there's just a lot about this person needing to reveal the truth to you um, and the truths that they've been discovering recently as well. We also have the gem, the diamond, the gold, the inner treasure. There are infinite names for the gem. It is also known as the jewel, the star, the talent, the gift, the gold. One thing for certain is that it is found deep within a substance that is very much unlike it. For example, a diamond in the rough. The gem always stands in contrast to its surroundings. You cannot find it when you are amongst comforts and pleasantries. Precious stones develop slowly in the earth amid pressure and darkness. Discovering the gem requires a descent beneath the surface where there is no definitive map. 
Yet the longing to touch the true gem within us is so strong that we cannot help but seek out its radiance. Your gem, like your destiny, is unlike any other in the entire world. Keep digging. Yeah, I think this person's had just a, a lot of very powerful truths revealed to them since meeting you, okay? Regarding you and your connection and just in general, this person's been going through kind of a major awakening process from what I can see here. And I think that they really want to talk to you about that. Maybe you've brought up some metaphysical concepts to this person in the past and they kind of like scoffed it off. They didn't take it to heart. And then they've gone through their own transformative process now in which they're starting to realize that you are onto something, okay? And I think they want to come in and chat with you about that a bit. Let's get some tarot. What is? What are this person's current thoughts, feelings, and intentions, spiritual team? Okay. That was too many. Let's get some. Let's get some info out. What are this person's current thoughts, feelings, energies, and intentions towards the collective? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. Ouch. Okay. Let's talk about this some more. What are their current thoughts, feelings, energies, and intentions? Okay, we got two coming out. Okay, we also have the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. That's interesting. Let's get one more, spiritual team. Let's get one more card, please. This person's current thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Thank you, the Knight of Cups. I'll pull some clarifiers for those before I chat with you guys about what I'm seeing here. Okay, let's get some clarifiers, please, spiritual team. Can you please clarify the Nine of Swords? Because that's kind of the oddball out here. That's interesting. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool clarifying that. Okay, how about the Three of Pentacles? They want a fresh start after some type of heartbreak with you. What about the Three of Pentacles? Can you clarify that, please? Wow, okay, we have two more cards clarifying this. This spread is going to fill up rather quickly, so bear with me here, you guys. We also have the King of Cups and the Two of Wands. How about the Nine of Cups, please? Can you clarify the Nine of Cups? There we go, the keep, keep doing that. Okay, there we go. And the Three of Pentacles again, and then underneath that was the Page of Pentacles. I'm gonna have to find a new way to organize this spread, you guys. How about the Knight of Cups, please? I don't know why they're having like double clarifiers. This is quite interesting. That doesn't normally happen for every single card. So I'm kind of just anticipating it for the Knight of Cups now as well. <laughs> okay. That was too many, please. Can you please clarify the Knight of Cups? Your person may have recently just walked away from another commitment is a specific message. It's not going to apply to everybody, but for some of you out there, this person just walked away from another commitment that they had, another relationship, or they're in the process of leaving that right now. Can you please clarify the Knight of Cups for their thoughts, feelings, energies, and intentions? Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Can you clarify? Give me one more clarifier. Thank you. Okay. We had a lot coming out for that. Sorry, you guys. This is like a bit of a disorganized reading. I think your person, or this person rather, is kind of all over the place, almost like the snakes on this card. Okay. All right. So this is likely to be a person who was juggling you between another option romantically. So if that doesn't sound like your situation or a person you want to hear about, then maybe pick a different reading because it seems quite clear to me that this is going to be about somebody who initially was making you an option. Okay, however, something has changed within them from what I can see here. I think that this is almost indicating the past this little chunk of the spread, 
we have the two of pentacles and the seven of cups. I think that your play player, <laughs> that just slipped out. <laughs> I think that this person, your person, this person uh, was, yes, in fact, acting as a bit of a player in the past. Um, they are kind of a diehard romantic at heart. And I think that they had a lot of trouble settling on one particular person. So maybe in the past they were juggling a couple of different options. I'm not seeing this person out there playing the field like just to have casual encounters with people necessarily. It was more like they're just a very romantic person and they like fall in love very easily or something. This is kind of bizarre energy to be honest with you guys. Like because right here at the they're showing me this rose at the very top of this cup with the seven of cups. It's like this person really just likes the idea of falling in love, okay? And so they might have been trying to have that experience with more than one person at a time, okay? Something's changed in them though. It seems like they really want to work as a team with you now because we have the three of pentacles coming up twice. There's some type of wish fulfillment that they see within you and your connection that they want to actually work towards as a team with you this time. Okay, you might have felt like you were kind of putting in more effort in this connection in the past. And I see now that your person would like to change that in the future. I think that they've been going through a lot of really like kind of really horrendous sleepless nights and painful experiences um, that were just really anxiety provoking and chaotic recently. And it's sparking them to want to like go off on their own. Another message I'm getting from this is that they have, yes, recently cut ties with another person. Maybe they chose another relationship over you and they've made the executive call to end that. And now they're kind of anxious about what comes next because they know that they're having this new beginning, but they're also feeling like they may have lost a chance with you. I think for a lot of you guys out there, some of the truth that they want to reveal to you is that A, they know that you guys have a, sp a soul connection of some kind, some kind of soul tie or bond with one another, and B, they want to come in and talk about the fact that they didn't know that before when they were juggling options, or that they weren't wanting to acknowledge that if you did come in and tell them about that in the past, that they were kind of intentionally remain remaining blind to that, because again, they wanted to kind of feel like a bit of a hot shot with all of these different options going on at the same time. That makes sense, okay? I think they really want to tell you the truth about how they feel about you, about why they did what they did, and they just want to have an actual down-to-earth conversation with you. Um, I see that this person is in the process. I, I think for a while they've been making a plan on how to come forward and talk to you about this. And they're just about ready to start taking the first action steps towards that plan. I think that your person is kind of a meticulous planner. They like to have everything in order. Um, it's kind of almost a dualistic nature that this person has. On the one hand, they kind of want to play around and be non-committal, And on the other hand, they want to have like everything locked down and secure. So I think your person kind of almost ping pongs back and forth between these two energies. Um, right now, I do see them wanting to take a few steps towards you with some type of an offering, which is likely going to be a conversation. I don't see this as like a material offering. It's more or less going to be a conversation about why they did what they did and so that both of you guys can kind of get it all out on the table, essentially. I'm going to pull a few more clarifiers about what... Tell me a little bit more about their specific intentions. Wow. Okay, change... For sure change for sure we have the eight of wands coming in they do want to have powerful change with you and communication okay i see this lightning striking i almost want to show you the little plushie that i got today okay you guys i just like i gotta go do it i'm sorry i have to i don't even know if it's gonna pick up on camera okay so i was at the store today getting presents for some people that have birthdays coming up this month and I couldn't help but like look over and see this little plushie. Okay, I don't know if you can see it and I know this is ridiculous, but I have to show you because it's a lightning bolt, but it's a happy lightning bolt. And my first thought, like the first thought that channeled in was, you know, 
tower moments happen for us so that we <laughs> can have positive change, okay? So not all tower moments feel so great when they come in. In fact, most of the time, tower moments can be quite painful at first, right? But ultimately, it's our guides and our angels and the divine trying to uh, like disintegrate a broken foundation so that we can be rebuilt into who we're meant to be, okay? Tower moments are essential. We should all be thanking tower moments because ultimately it helps to refine us into better versions of, <laughs> versions of ourselves, okay? So I, I saw that plushie and I had to get it just because I was like, okay, well, that's perfect. Um, sometimes tower moments can also be happy. Engagements and things like that can be tower moments. Weddings can be tower moments. Um, it's just more or less, I don't know. That was funny. Maybe somebody out there needed that. I don't know. You can let me know down in the comments, okay? Um, and I just grabbed the wrong deck. I'm getting a little bit chaotic right now. I do think your person is also kind of chaotic at the moment. I hope I'm not scaring you guys away, okay? I have to be real and true to myself on this channel, okay? I want to get more info about their intentions. Any additional details you guys can talk to me about? That was like way too many cards. I'm not going to take all three of those. Okay. What else can you tell me about this person's intentions, please? What else can you tell me about this person's intentions? Thank you. There's something that's coming to an end. Okay. What else? Spiritual team. Yeah, I think this person has recently ended a relationship. Or maybe you ended their relate like you ended a relationship and they feel like that was their fault for some reason. That's a specific message. What else can you tell me? Maybe they're in a relationship right now and they're planning on ending that because they realize that they are missing you. Yeah. I asked for a clarifier and then I looked down at the cards and this was on the top of the stack, which is the two of cups. It's some, their intentions are to end a relationship. You're probably not with this person. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're probably not. If, if you're in a happy relationship right now, I don't think this is your reading, you guys. Can you clarify the eight of wands for me, please? And now I'm suddenly feeling warm, like, all over the place, you guys. Like, the energy is getting stronger and stronger. Okay? They want to come in with some type of emotional vulnerability with you. But they, they're seemingly like they have to end some type of a relationship first. A relationship with a queen of pentacles type. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to be a queen of pentacles, which does represent Virgo, I believe. Um, I'm taking this as a specific message that this person that your person is either currently with or was recently with in the past re reminds them of queen of pentacles energy. Again, regardless of gender, doesn't have to be a, a feminine, but... They embody Queen of Pentacles energy, and that's how this person perceives that partner, okay? They're wanting to put an end to that. It's like they want to come in and bring you some type of a rose, but they're very fearful at the same time because they feel like they self-sabotage the connection between you and them, and they're, like, panicking now, okay? Because they just showed me that, too, and then the back of the deck is the Nine of Swords, but then look what we have poking out right here, the Ace of Cups. They wanna they they messed up, okay. The energy <laughs> the energy that I'm picking up on is somebody who's like, oh shit, I just messed up big time because I think this person chose that other party over you and um thinking that they were gonna be a better choice, maybe even financially. Like I hate to say this, you guys, it hurts me for you. I'm so sorry if this is your reading because I feel your pain, okay? I think that this person chose the other party when they were juggling options over you not because they had deep emotions for this other party but because maybe this person made more money and you didn't make as much money as them or for some type of almost shallow material based reasons like maybe this other party had a better reputation than you maybe this party was more stable and grounded than you or something like that and I don't mean that in an offensive way I just mean like let's say like 
maybe this this person was a little bit older than you or something like that or they already had a house and you didn't and you were like on your way to buying a house saving up for one but this other choice had a stable job with a house with a this with a that with this do you get what I'm saying like your person was not acting from their heart I think they were choosing this other person for very 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 shallow material world reasons not out of love okay um, for whatever reason that might be, I don't know your person specifically, maybe, I don't know, it was their upbringing or something like that, but this person was not operating out of their heart. Um, could also be that their friends and family were pushing them towards this option or pressuring them, okay? Or they felt like societal pressure to choose this other option. But the thing about this is, is that your person has had some wake up calls and they're changing because they realized that they were not getting any type of emotional fulfillment for this from this relationship and they can't stop thinking about you. So their intention is to end this relationship and to kind of step forward towards you, but they're scared and they're really scared to do that because they know that they messed up big time, okay? I'm gonna be honest, this, this whole situation, like I probably don't wanna be in this energy much longer, you guys, because it's painful, I don't wanna be in it, okay? <laughs> Uh, this person feels like they messed up big time. Let's get some more info before I pull channeled messages. I'm going to hop away from the tarot and into some oracle cards. Can you give me some clarifiers, please, spiritual team? And you guys, I am like sweating. So your person is nervous. They really do not feel like they have a chance with you anymore. They feel like they messed this connection up big time. And it sucks for them because they, they've recently kind of woken up to the fact that you guys have a really deep soul tie with one another maybe you guys are soulmates for example and this other party was a karmic and your person realizes that now and they're like well shit I just screwed up with my person and now I don't know how I can repair that or if they'll even take me back okay yeah your person's feeling like so worn out and exhausted and anxious and just all kinds of negative feelings about this I think that they're, it's like they're almost planning on some big extravagant thing to try to win you back. Like they could be writing you songs. They could be making you a painting. They could be planning crazy out there dates or something like that. I think your person is in this place where they feel like they screwed this up so bad that there's probably no chance that you'll ever take them back. And if there is any chance, they're gonna come. Ha they're gonna have to come in and make some kind of a huge scene, okay? Because this person has been suffering. They're struggling. I mean, we had the Nine of Swords presenting itself twice, along with this Suffering card. Um, and then we also have Devotion. So it's like this person might have tried to walk away from you or play the field, but it only bit them in the ass because they've only, through that choice that they made, they realized that at the end of the day, they will always, their heart will always belong to you. And I think that this person was not making decisions with their heart in the past. They were trying to use their logical mind or they were just following pressure from their peers, from their colleagues or their friends or their family and they were not listening to their own freaking heart and now this person is feeling absolutely heartbroken over it okay bottom line um honestly you guys i want to tap out of this energy so i'm just gonna pull some channeled messages from them now do some tiles and charms and then just kind of move on okay because this is like a super super feeling <laughs> super bad feeling energy okay um, I'm haunted about how it ended for sure, for, for sure. Okay. Um, whew, I'm trying to stabilize my life right now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, dude, like, dude, <laughs> I don't know you guys. Um, uh, like where's the nine of swords? Hold on a second. I got to Oh yeah, it was the back of the deck for this. We had two of them come out, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold these up, okay? Like this is your person's predominant energy right now. We have the Nine of Swords suffering. I think about you a lot, especially at night. Like this person is just really overwhelmed with how things ended and they're not feeling very good right now. So I don't know. I don't wanna be in this energy anymore, you guys, okay? 
Are you seeing someone? Yeah, I think that's part of it too, is that they're scared that you've moved on. This person is really afraid that they messed it up for good this time and that they don't have a chance with you. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I care about you a lot, like I care about each and every one of you. If this person did make you an option, just friend to friend, please make sure you're taking care of yourself because personally, I think you deserve better than that. If somebody makes you an option, if you're not their first choice, if they even have other choices, and it's not, you know, like if it goes beyond the first couple of dates or something like that, and your person is still trying to play the field, like you deserve better than that. You deserve somebody that loves you and wants to treasure you as a person, okay? Life is way too short to be chasing after people that want to make you an option while you want to give them a crown, okay? Don't be chasing after people like that. You deserve better. There, there, are, other, there are plenty of other fish in the sea, okay? And yes, I'm calling everybody out too, okay? I know how things can get. If this is your twin, I understand, okay? I understand that you love them and you want to be with them. And I'm not telling you what to do. Don't get me wrong. I am not telling you what to do. Never make decisions based off a of freaking tarot reading, okay? You are your own person. You make your own choices. But I'm just saying, like, probably not a good idea to make excuses. Does it really matter if it's your twin, if they're treating you like total garbage? I'm sorry, but like, what? Take care of yourself, okay? Love yourself. This life is way too short to waste time chasing after people that are treating you like crap. There are plenty of other people in this world that will treat you like the queen or king that you are, okay? This one wanted to hide away. I'm distracting myself with work, all right? I'm getting kind of I'm getting kind of upset right now, you guys. Like, I'm sorry if you can pick up on this. I've been keeping secrets. Maybe you didn't know about these other options, okay? You impress me so much. I don't like reading energies like this, you guys. I'm, I am, at the end of the day, I'm an INFP. I like living in my happy little fantasy world, okay? I'm quite happy there. It's a beautiful place. You should check it out sometime. <laughs> but for real, like, I don't like tapping into negative energies like this. It gets me heated, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is what you're going through. This person recognizes that you guys have a soul connection and that you've helped them in a lot of ways. So this person really does have a lot of love and devotion for you. I think they just treated you like garbage in the past. Okay. It's like, maybe you expressed this. Um, okay. Uh, uh, all in my head by Kylie something, Kylie Muse or something like that. All in my head by Kylie Muse. I think this person was gaslighting you a lot or just really like breadcrumbing you like crazy. I'm sorry, you guys. And I know that like sometimes we all have really intense lessons to learn like that in this lifetime, and it probably happened for a reason, okay? Hopefully you've grown from that whole experience, but um, just make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Somebody in the comments has been saying that they've seen the name Paul recently, so I just have to call out that that came out right away. I'm not, I don't, I, I don't remember who you are, to be honest. I just remember seeing that as I'm scrolling through the comments, so. Don't think I'm calling you out or anything like that because I do not even know. But um, maybe somebody else's name is Paul too. I don't know, okay? I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to move fast past this as fast as I can because I want to tap out of this energy, you guys. Um, I felt called to do this reading though, even though I'm tired. So I know that somebody out there maybe needs to hear this. And if that's you, I hope that it found you. And I trust that it did, Okay. Um, we also have the name Wes coming out, okay? Um, they're saying Oasis, even though there's only one S. So maybe you used to go on vacations with this person or something like that. I don't know, you guys. I'm going to let you be the judge of that. I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to pick just a couple of charms out from the bottom of the bowl here. And I'm going to hop into the message from the universe for you guys because I think that'll like refresh this energy because your person's energy is like they they really they they feel like they messed up big time. That's all I can say because they definitely put you in a love triangle and they you might not have known that was going on while it was happening and your person feels guilty about it now. Okay, they might want to come in with some type of a gift. I just feel like it's going to be an offering of truth. Yeah, maybe they really like it when you wear red lipstick or maybe they wear red lipstick. That could be help, like help to identify, okay? Um, we also have a cross here. So one or both of you could be religious or in general, it might help to pray 
about this situation, okay? I'm always in favor of prayer. I'm not afraid to say that on my channel either, okay? We also have a unicorn. So this connection could feel like it's one of a kind, all right? And I sympathize for that. I just care about you guys, and I want to make sure that you're making healthy choices. Always make sure that you are making healthy choices for yourself. And again, I'm not telling you what to do at all. I'm never going to claim that I am. Never make choices based on a tarot reading, but just take care of yourself is all I'm saying, okay? Take care of yourself. We also have a violin. So maybe this person wants to come in and almost serenade you to apologize or something like that if they're a musician. Or music could be significant or maybe somebody plays the violin or the cello. I can't tell the difference if I'm being honest with you guys. So I don't know one or the other. We also have a heart here. I mean, this person does love you. It's just, you know, life is awfully short to be settling for people that treat you like garbage is all I'm trying to say in this reading, okay? And it's just because I care. And there have been times in my life where I wish that I had somebody say that to me. Just saying. So I'm going to say it to you for whoever needs to take that message. We also have gratitude. Thank you. This is a heartfelt thanks to you from somebody you recently helped in some way. I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth, humanity, and those around you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are eternally blessed. May peace, grace, and love forever guide you along your sacred path. Guardian Angel, trust. All unfolds in perfect timing. You are the one with divine will. Focus only on love, and all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. I, your guardian angel, am watching over you. That is lovely. Very lovely. I'm going to get one more from the Mindful Messages deck. Okay. Hold lightly. I take the things that people that come into my... I take the things and people that come into my life lightly. Not holding on too tight so that when it comes time for them to go, they may go smoothly. This does not mean I love any less but that I am open to the changes of life. Yeah, somebody needed to hear that as well. It's okay to love somebody and still let them go. It's okay to, you can love somebody from a distance, okay? It's okay to do that if you feel like you need to. I'm gonna end this reading here, you guys. Um, I'm not even gonna do some extras just cause I'm like sweaty now and I need to go cool off after this energy. If this reading resonated with you, you're welcome to share down below. And if I didn't scare you off with the chaos, don't forget to like and subscribe and stick around for more. Maybe check out some of my other videos because they tend to be much less chaotic than this. And I'm sure that some of you regular viewers can attest to that for me, please, if you don't mind. Um, but yeah, I hope you know that you deserve the whole wide world. You're an amazing soul and human being, and I hope you know that. And I do hope to see you for a future video. Bye for now.